This is what happened in the cryptocurrency world this week. Two co-founders of blockchain games developer Gala Games are currently suing each other over stolen $130 million in Gala tokens back in 2021. Ethereum creator Vitalik Buterin sells all his remaining maker tokens after two years of inactivity. London Stock Exchange, the LSE Group, is to create traditional assets trading platform on blockchain. FTX wallet transfers $10 million in crypto, sparking fear of an upcoming dump. U.S. national debt nears $33 trillion, sparking a widespread concern over a potential September shutdown. Australia rejects crypto regulation bill 2023 due to lack of detail. Visa's new pilot program uses Solana's high-speed blockchain for sending and receiving USDC. Kraken, one of the world's biggest crypto exchange, has added PayPal as a deposit method to buy crypto on the platform. Coinbase back layer 2 network, Base, suffers a 40 minutes outage. The blockchain network assures users that their funds were safe. Tether now ranks as the 22nd largest holder of U.S. Treasury bonds, surpassing nations like Australia, UAE, and Mexico. U.S.-based Genesis Global Trading will shut down its crypto spot trading service. The company has been providing crypto spot trading since 2013. Binance top execs Gleb Kostarev and Vladimir Smirkis have announced that they have quit the company. Impacted by FTX's collapse, Solana's daily user activity plunges to lowest level since January 2023, according to the Blocks Data Dashboard. A whale deposited $4.5 million Worldcoin to three exchanges as price soars more than 27%. Blockchain analytics firm Arkham Intelligence has identified Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust as the second largest Bitcoin holder in the world with over $16 billion worth of Bitcoin. Kathy Wood's asset management firm, ARK Invest, has filed for the United States' first Ethereum spot ETF. Genesis hits parent company DCG with $600 million lawsuit, a day after Genesis Global Trading said it would shut down its crypto spot trading operations in September. Former Celsius CEO Alex Mashinsky's assets were frozen back in August, according to a now unsealed order. Six months after its integration, Binance NFT ceases support for Polygon, affecting buying, listing, and selling activities. Founder of Turkish crypto exchange Thodex, sentenced to over 11,000 years in prison along with his sister and brother. French influencers now must pass a test to promote crypto and other financial products. Former FTX exec Ryan Salem to forfeit 1.5 billion US dollars after pleading guilty to charges. North Korean hackers stole 41 million US dollars from the gambling site stake.com, according to FBI. Polygon Foundation denies the claims that it has dumped $5.5 million of Matic on Binance, causing the price of the token to fall. Don't forget to subscribe for daily crypto updates. Thank you for watching.